today's video, I'm exploring an abandoned mansion in France that was once owned by a very wealthy businessman that on board the Titanic. These are some warehouses, I guess, and barns, but they have abandoned cars left behind. Everything is left frozen in time. This place must have been abandoned for a very long time. Well, we're gonna be seeing lots of taxidermy. I just found a gun to the final room that we've been saving for last. So far, I think this, this hands down the best room. I just love the look of it. It's so unique. <laughs> Nestled in a lush, remote part of France stands the Grand Chateau de Pruina. Constructed in the 15th century by wealthy French lineage, the chateau has witnessed centuries with its walls keeping countless secrets and stories from generations of the family. The neighboring villagers often shared stories about the peculiar rituals that the family would do. Legends even whispered of a curse that kept the family tethered to this grand residence. The last descendant of this prestigious family boarded the Titanic as he had aspirations of expanding his empire in America, but met the tragic fate in 1912 when the Titanic hit an iceberg and sunk. With his demise, the chateau fell into obscurity and the influence of the powerful family diminished. Fast forward to 2022, the once forgotten chateau has a new owner. Intent on reviving its former grandeur, they are pouring resources into restoring the architectural marvel. The vision is clear, turning the historic chateau into an opulent five-star hotel that captures its rich history. Yet, despite the forthcoming modern touches, the mysteries surrounding the family and their home remain captivating the imagination of many. And for many years, the chateau was left forgotten and abandoned with everything inside that the family used to own. These are some warehouses, I guess, and barns, but they have abandoned cars left behind. Look at that. It's just one of them. There's gonna be many more that we're gonna be seeing. Okay, it's a little bit sketchy with these caravans. Who knows if people are around. There's more cars here. So we just checked out the cars over there. We're gonna check out the second warehouse over here. Oh, wow, there's a land over in this garage. As well as an old Jeep. It's just random caravan. It looks unused, but also looks like it's been used for sure. They just don't clean it. Anyway, I don't want to be the one to find out who's who goes inside. I mean, that's about it. All right, everyone. So we just made it inside this beautiful mansion right in front of the stairway over here. Now this isn't the main stairway. We're gonna be seeing that in a few minutes, but this is nothing less beautiful. We can see that it's been really bad. There's a lot of black mold. Definitely don't wanna be touching that. But I say we head to the main hallway, which is right beyond these doors. My friends are already taking photos in here. Yikes, really bad black mold. And luckily, there's still a lot of things left behind. It's not so empty. Just look at some furniture here. Wow, look at this. Here's the main stairway. Amazing. You got a little, little corner over here. You can just lounge it up. We'll get back to the stairway, but look at this. I got so distracted by it. Some taxidermy. Lots and lots of it. We're gonna be seeing a lot of taxidermy while we explore. That's what a lot of explorers say. Wow, this is gorgeous. We still got the chandelier still standing. 
But yeah, over here on the other end are really large rooms. I guess we'll start with the one over down here. But before that, let me show you guys the end of the hallway really quick. This is the opposite side. Very messy and hoarded as you can see. It also has a stairway leading back down to the basement. Wow, look at all the cobwebs. This place must have been abandoned for a very long time. Let's just go inside here. Whoa, wow. I love the look of this room. We got some tall ceilings. I would say the wall is about 20 to 30 feet tall. You have massive space in here. And this is only one room. Nothing really catching my interest, except these glasses. It's a unique shape. Whoever was wearing them must have looked really smart. Oh, what the heck? Well, this is kind of sketchy, but here are some bullets. Looks like they've been used. I'm not seeing a gun anywhere. Wow, this is so many magazines. All in French. What year is it from? It's from 1998. A lot of these magazines are from the 90s. I can even tell because of the cars being showcased. Very old times indeed. But that confirms that this place had its last years around the 90s. And it's still not in bad shape at all. Look at the ceiling. Wow, such an amazing design. That attaches onto the chandelier. It's pretty plain, but I'm pretty sure the chandelier looked way better than that before. I guess some parts must have been stolen. There's another room over there in the corner. Tight squeeze because of all these stuff. I think someone did this on purpose. The room looks incredible. We can get in now. <laughs> we might have found the best room in this mansion. I might have to save this to the very end. I'm sorry guys, but you know how we do it. We gotta save the very end for last and check out the other rooms first. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's head over there to the next room and come back here a little bit towards the middle of the video or the end of it. All right, so we just made it back into the main hallway. There's some books here and movies. Maybe some of you are familiar with. I don't think I've seen any of these. Let me know if you have in the comments. So we'll go to this room right here. Wow, this room is squeaky clean. Someone organized it so well and cleaned it up. Unlike the previous room, which was very hoarded. And look at that, gotta have the piano. What kind of song were they reading? Sonate one, hmm, I'm not sure. Kind of sucks. I wish I knew how to play the piano, but this is incredible. Look at that. This room almost reminds me of a little chapel. You got these two things on the side with some Jesus statues and Mama Mary. I felt like this room was definitely meant to be a sanctuary of some sort and to pray. It's such a unique marble color that I've never seen. It's like light pink or purple. Look at that, my friends are taking some photos. Some lovely ones of the stairway. Nice. So I just realized, I think this was a door. I thought it was just a window. When you peek outside, it's a little bit too bright. You can see that there's a stairway. Now that I think of it, there is a doorknob right there. And it makes perfect sense that this would be a door because right directly to it takes you to the main stairway which usually faces the entrance i'll be honest though the main entrance does not look grand at all 
Please don't tell me this is the main entrance. But I love filming places with just natural lighting. Alright, while they're taking photos, let's go to this room. Right next to it. It's a dining room. You know, this mansion might not have a lot of things left behind, but I just love the interior and how much space it has. And the things that are left behind, it's not a lot, but it's, most of them is really unique to see. Like, look at this chandelier. I love the design of it. It has like a Christmas feeling to it, don't you think? And look at this. This is a giant radio. It's so wide, but it can be used as a desk as well. Ooh. I think this is an art piece of like Mount Fuji in Japan. Now what's crazy, this looks like the cupboards have all the cups and plates still. Like I said in the main hall, we're going to be seeing lots of taxidermy. Looks like an animal for baby deer and some pheasants. And over here we have a lovely furnace, very tiny. And look what they did to it. They added some small plates on the side. I mean, it must have looked nice when this place was fully decorated. Okay, looks like we just entered a lounge room. I really like the carpet. Look at that, we have some TVs. Very old ones. Now it's a nice small living room. I like the angel paintings above the doors. And I could just imagine just making this more modern, like having a big screen TV right on that wall. I've been seeing a lot of mold lately in this mansion. I'm not sure what could be causing it. I guess inside here is very damp and wet for some reason. The anyway, way I think we've seen all the rooms down here on the first floor. Yeah, we're taking the main stairway up for sure. It's time to head upstairs. I hope you guys have been enjoying the video. It's been a blast exploring this amazing abandoned mansion. And don't forget, we're going to say the very best room for last. So you want to stay tuned and keep watching. Right after we're done exploring the bedroom floors, we're going to head back down here and explore room that I think is the best in this entire mansion but if you've been enjoying the video so far don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell and also leave a thumbs up and share this to a friend or family you would think and would enjoy this video i'm excited to check upstairs let's go I just noticed. All right, so we just made it up here. I'm not sure where to start. I guess we'll start from the left side and work our way to the right. Now this floor is very moldy, honestly. I don't know if it's my mind playing games, but my throat feels a little bit weird. So I don't want to stay here, give you guys a tour for too long. So this is the first bedroom. It's really incredible besides the black mold. We got two beds here. Looks like they're single beds. And it also leads to the next room anyway. We have some photos here. Guy looks very wealthy and so do the women in the pictures. But look at the wallpaper, or I think it's tapestry too. Looks like it's somewhere very tropical. We got a beautiful fireplace in the bedroom. I don't want to be touching anything. I don't want to get any mold in my hands. I'm gonna stay a little bit off a distance and just zoom in. Looks like we have a picture of a female right there too. The person looks different from the other female we saw downstairs. So I'm not sure who she could be. Anyway, let's move on to the next room. This room has a lot of black mold. And considering that it's very small, there's probably a lot of spores flying around. So we're gonna skip that. Ooh. This bedroom is lovely. It looks very cozy in here. The bed is already made. And the wallpaper is quite nice. Not as moldy as the other rooms. I bet a female stayed in here. But you know what? Almost every room that I've explored in the Ban Chateau 
has flowers as the wallpaper. So I'm wondering, if, I bet guys also stayed in rooms with flower wallpaper. We got the cross, and that looks like a picture of Mama Mary. The family was definitely Christian. Okay, moving on. Now this side is pretty dark. Man, they sure had a lot of bedrooms. This room is also quite moldy, but not so bad. It's the same interior as the other side. Looks like we have some black and white photos here. Wow, it's in front of the mansion. Just a group of kids. Maybe this used to be a school as well. It's so crazy to think that like, you know, kids used to grow up here. You can just imagine all the life experience that they had in this once beautiful home. Wow, okay, so far the right side of the bedrooms is winning. This one also looks great. Definitely the best bedroom so far upstairs. We have an old sewing machine right here. Looks like it was kept inside that box and someone took it out. Is that paste for pets? Oh, I think it's a uh, toothpaste. And over here we have some rocks. Maybe they were souvenirs or good luck charms. We still have a bottle of wine where this leads. It's a small little room. We just found some shoes. Here are the last two rooms. Oh wait, there's actually three. This is the darkest room. It actually gives me a very creepy and negative vibe. So I guess down the hall you had a shared bathroom. Yeah, there's the tub. I would not want to take a shower here. Alright, here's the last bedroom. It has two twin beds. Gosh, we almost missed this bedroom. But yeah, I wanted to take the stairway here because it looks so crazy. I love the decay. Anyway, let's check this bedroom first. Can't believe we almost missed this. This must be the master bedroom. I was wondering where the master bedroom was. Whoever last used it didn't really do a good job. I feel like if you have the master bedroom, you gotta do more in this. Like why have two twin beds when you can just get a king size bed? I guess the family was very minimalistic. And look at this, I like this a lot. You had a lot of closet space in this room. And it looks like it's still filled with clothes. And look, so many shoes. Probably these are the husband's shoes. Yep, they're just filled with clothes. Crazy. Over here we have some small rooms, probably for the maids and servants. I didn't think there was going to be a second floor. We're currently on the first floor. I know they do it a little bit different here. They actually have a ground level or ground zero floor. So this is the first floor. Next floor is the second. In America, it would be the second floor right now, and then the third floor upstairs. Let's take a quick look. But I don't know if I can trust the stairway. I think it's okay. Yeah, it feels sturdy. I guess we're inside the tower. This must be the attic as well. Wow. Well, there's a bedroom up here. I was not expecting that. It's so dirty. And it looks like this has been barricaded. Or maybe we can enter. There's more rooms, but man, it's in ruin. I'm not sure how safe this is. But I'll take a quick look. It goes further up to the rooftop. Ooh. This is quite nice for a photo. 
Hey, there's another room over there too. But look at the ground. Jeez, we have to be very careful. Let's try to check this room. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm so glad I came up here. Holy crap. I just found a gun. Is this a shotgun? No, this has to be a BB gun, right? Wow. Yeah, I think it's a BB gun. And I believe this bird is a great cormorant. At least it kind of looks like it. But I, I thought these are usually in New Zealand. I think if I were to live in this home, this would probably be my bedroom. You don't have any other bedrooms next to you. You have a lot of peace and quiet. And you're staying inside the tower. Like, how cool is that? Look at this statue. Look at this statue right here. Hmm. Maybe this was like a little kid's room. We have some pictures and frames. This is probably the father. Look at that. This is pretty much evidence that they lived in a noble family. There is literally a painting of the mansion. It looks totally different now from the front. Should I attempt walking up there? It doesn't look sturdy at all. I'm so curious, guys. Hmm. Yeah, it's not sturdy. But, it's, well, it's doable. I just want to see what's in there. I just want to push the door open. Oh, I can hardly do it. Anyway, it doesn't look too crazy. I don't want to risk it too much. Let's check out the rooms down here now. As you can see, I'm not using a gimbal because I thought this floor would be very risky and I don't want to be carrying something very heavy. But I'm still trying to be as smooth as possible. Here's the last room. Yeah, it's just a typical attic. It's like someone took the photo from this frame. There's a name. I'm just, I'm just gonna say his first name is Bernardino. We just explored every room in this building. Let's head back and check out that one room that I saved for last. So far, I think this, this hands down the best room. I just love the look of it. It's so unique. Hope you guys stayed until this very part of the video, because this is amazing. Look at this. This is a piano that I haven't seen anywhere. It's like a table. It's so small too. But look at that. We have some really old photos in frames right now. These are probably one of the original owners that lived here. And look at this amazing painting right behind them. Oh my gosh. With a taxidermy of, I'm not really sure what kind of bird that is, but that just looks amazing. I love how everything looks like this. We even have the chandelier here, perfectly intact. We got a statue of Jesus and a painting of Jesus too. This is a marvelous fireplace. I just love the giant mirror. And look at the frame, incredible. Oh, we have a little bit of other things too. Like, look, we have an old record player. Oh, I love this cabinet right next to it. It's not storaging anything crazy, but it has a unique design. And over here we have a baby carriage. It's quite big. Can't believe that a baby used to be just cradling in there and now it's just left here in this decaying room. Looks like these are a box of matches. I kinda wanna hide these. It could go to the wrong hands. I'm gonna put them somewhere where no one's gonna find it. Maybe, maybe right in here, next to the spider. <laughs> yeah, no one's definitely gonna put their hands there. Look at 
that, we still have the carpet. Let's take a closer look to this artwork here. Does it have an artist signature on it? It kind of does, but it's all blurred. Can't really make up what it says, but if you happen to know this artist, let me know in the comments. Looks like the painting is showcasing a man and his wife. The guy's just sleeping. <laughs> the woman looks a little bit worried while the guy's enjoying his little nap. A similar design here on the first level. Floor to ceiling windows. Looks like they've been barricaded. I'm glad this window's open to give off some lighting. I actually don't think I want to be walking down these stairs and being right next to black mold. Literally just inches from you. So we're gonna go down from the main stairway and kind of take a photo from there. I actually think the shot of this stairway from the first floor looked better with all the rubble. It's ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, we pretty much are wrapping this up and now we just have to go down to the basement. I just want to show you guys the basement really really quick because it is pretty much a time capsule we got the boots the jacket still hanging and look at this bottle of water bottle of water, bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> and look here are all the jars there's nothing in them though and over here hmm, just some random room with junk Ooh, what kind of table is this? At first I thought it was like a pool table, but I don't think it is. The basement feels like a dungeon, the way it's made. Oh, okay. What the heck? Holy crap. I found the wine cellar. Look at that. Hundreds of bottles. Some of them still have stuff inside it. And it smells so much like wine. As you can see, yeah, there's still stuff inside. Some of these bottles too, you can see that it's filled with wine. Well, this tiny room also has a lot of wine as well. Can't believe it's just here for so many years. Across, they had a room just to store some coal. I think that's it. There's pretty much nothing else in here. We've seen every room. Guys, well, we're gonna head out. I'll see you when I get outside.